Good morning, guys. How are you? I just want to say my condolences for Kobe family, the whole entire family, the LA community. It feels like really, really sad yesterday. But the strange things is uh, that morning, uh, me and my husband, we woke up and then he asked me, let's just walk, take a walk. So we go, we went walk just a couple blocks from our house. And then that morning, I feel like super quiet. It was Sunday, I know it was Sunday. Uh, I know people are not really like driving around on Sunday or Saturday. So normally our street is going to be like a little bit quiet, but then still like a car, you know, uh, here and there. But that morning I feel like super quiet and it was foggy. And then so chilly, really, really cold that morning. And I remember I put it, a lot of layers on my, uh, my body because I don't want to get sick because uh, I'm feeling not well for a couple of days already and then when we walk we were okay and then we're coming home and then we watch movie and I just realizing one thing I believe I was wearing a purple a purple sweater I don't know it's coincident or whatever but then I'm wearing a purple sweater and then I was watching uh, a movie uh, and then after the movie is done and then I don't know I think my husband turned on to a, a regular TV section or something I, I forgot and then he was telling me he was making a coffee just preparing making coffee and I was sitting here just this uh, area and then he was saying uh, Kobe kill uh cubby got killed with the helicopter in the helicopter and i'm like no you're kidding I just stop it don't don't say like like you know it's like a joke or something and then and then he's just quiet standing there and just do a thing and then i was like okay i'm just gonna google it and then all of a sudden i saw a news on my phone and my monitor is so, uh, yeah, and then I read everything, and then it was nine, nine or seven uh, uh, victims on, on the crash, which is Kabi, and then Gina, Gigi, the, the daughter, and she's still 13 years old, guys. And Kobe itself, he's still 40 or 41 years old, super young yeah and the daughter is also 13 years old super young for me and he left the wife and then another three kids I believe and they're still like babies still young and also other victims is also a coach he is a coach of uh football I believe a uh, baseball I'm sorry baseball and uh, two two daughters and uh, a wife and then of course the pilot uh, and that's just like uh, very very sad and I'm, I'm trying to imagine I don't know this is just me or I'm just being weird. Every time when I when I listen to the news, like whoever that I know, probably the actress, actor, or whoever, the very like famous when they pass away, and then just like putting myself into like what's going on, like you know, like in that moment, like what he what he is feeling, the entire people inside the helicopter feel feelings you know like I know it's scary uh, 
or they already like just surren surrender in the moment that okay we're gonna crash this helicopter so probably just like closing their eyes or hugging each other between the families hold hand or yeah I'm just wishing there's no like a uh, pain you know what I'm saying like uh, it is it is accident it's like really uh, scary it's fast like you know but I'm hoping there's no like suffering between that moment because you know when you just like scared people freaking out for sure like people screaming kids screaming everybody if I'm that moment I probably just like freaking out screaming and just yelling like oh please God just help my soul my spirit to be in the right place and I'm just praying hopefully <sighs> whoever that I left behind like maybe my parents whoever are friends you know they forgive us they forgive me if I'm doing pretty like shitty or bad you know when I'm still alive so yeah it's just crazy guys uh, this is alive somehow we never know what's gonna happen we can be really happy one moment and we can be really sad a moment depressed anxiety who whatever that you call it uh, right now uh, but unfor unfortunately this this is this is it this is life like you know we just borrowing our body our spirit and soul in this earth just to a living you know just to learn with this uh, human body that we have heart uh, anything so uh, I just I just want to let you guys know just live in the moment just gr uh, be glad uh, be humble be happy I know I'm sometimes when the problem came or uh, the anxiety just came or frustration, stress or uh, pressure, anything like that, just breathe, just breathe and pray and just wishing it will go by and then go back to a normal you know because we try our best like in daily life so don't blame yourself don't blame nobody even we in the tough moment tough day at work school college everywhere anything that you name it just just breathe I know human mental human brain it builds smart smartly guys don't worry if you can if you can control yourself your brain it will follow itself so when people having like anxiety depression and somehow I just don't get it like I mean I still questioning myself I know depression is like really killing people's soul and people mental health so 
some they uh, they understand that they having depression anxiety or something something and then they they searching like they they searching either doctor or uh, friends or people that they know to reaching a help some people but then some people that we we never know what you know uh they just choose a short decision either overdosing themselves with a lot of painkillers or hurting themselves or they just give up they give up and then I don't get it why they just give up if they really know they need help and then they know they, they still have a people that they love parents kids uh, sister brother sibling spouse husband wife I don't know if they just choose a short uh, decision, do they think is it makes them happy? Do they think this is a great choice if I'm doing this, hang myself, take a lot of pills and then just kill them by overdose, and or they just like. I don't know, grab a gun and then just go out and then just start shooting people, get, get out of control. Or they're just hurting themselves. Sometimes I still questioning myself and asking myself, what if, you know? What are they thinking in the moment before the ending life, you know? Does it make them happy? It makes them release the, the pain without putting everyone's like, just, okay, just forget it. Let them live. My, my family is going to be okay. This, this, this. I just want to make myself be in the peace moment which is just <sighs> that is really crazy guys I don't know I do understand about anxiety because trust me I'm having an anxiety attack when I was I will say 20 20 22 22 23 <laughs> I was working at the, I, I still remember this moment. I was working doing a wholesale clothing. So, you know, wholesale clothing. We just like packing the stuff, whoever people are ordering the, the clothes, t shirt and pants or whatever. And then we have to packing. So, I'm doing a packing because I have to ship it with the FedEx and uh, UPS, I believe, or DSL. I, I forgot. But I'm doing the. I'm doing the uh, packaging and then I still remember that was uh, the afternoon guys before a lunch break and I'm, when I'm doing the packing the packing uh, boxes and then I'm starting like shaking my hand and then I was working with like four or five people around me every single day I was normal before that day People just rushing me, I don't really like, I don't care. Like, I mean, I'm, I can't handle a pressure at work, trust me. So, but that day, just like snapping out of my body, my nerves and everything. And then I, I start shaking. And then when people start talking to me, I'm just like, in my brain, it's like, 
why are these people like talking? Why are these people like keep pressing me? Why are these people like pressuring me? That is just just be quiet, but I can't I can't talk in that moment. Because I'm having an anxiety attack, remember? So I'm just like shaking and I'm starting sweating. And then uh, one of my uh, manager saw me and she was like, are you okay? Why are you sweating? And I was like, oh, I, I'm okay, I'm okay. But but with my voice, I'm kind of like a little bit uh, yell, yelling, like, you know, like, I'm okay. Because normally it's just like, oh, yeah, yeah, I'm fine, I'm good. But that, I just like response, responding with that. Uh, sounds and then she was like no you're not okay because you start shaking your hand and then you, you can't even look at me and then I was like okay and I'm and then she grabbed me a, a bottle of water and then I'm just drinking it and I was like okay let me just sit down and then I was sitting down and then she asked me to take something because I think you you might you might be like uh, hungry or anything empty stomach and then we were like so busy with this uh uh, orders and stuff and I said like, okay yeah yeah and then I feel like it's not me in the moment like this is not me because I've never been like this I'm I can't handle people I'm always look at people in the eyes when we're talking no matters what's the situation uh, no matters do I know you do I not know you or close not really close, not best friend or whatever. People in front of me, I always, when we, when I'm talking to people, I always like staring at them. <laughs> like really, like look at my eyes and then talk. Not just like some dude or some, I don't know, girls or whoever, random people when they talk, they just like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, hey bro, I'm like right here, talk to me, like, you know. So yeah, but when I feel I'm not there, meaning I'm not there, which is like, that's not me. So it's something happened, something's wrong. So after that day, and then it was like after the, the anxiety went really well, like, you know, I'm getting back to my normal uh, body after I'm drinking and then I'm sort of eating and then I'm breathing, like try to be like relaxed, no stress, like let's do this, we can do this because you've been working with, with this situation for so long already, what happened? So snap out of it, Vera. So after that, I, I went home and then I was telling the story uh, and then uh, I'm telling my mom, I believe, yeah because I'm not feeling well and let's just bring me somewhere like maybe to see a doctor or a clinic so I went there and then to clinic uh, after a few days later with my mom and then we check up and then everything and the doctor asked me so many questions do you feel like you want to kill yourself do you take a painkillers? Have you take a painkillers over this, this, this number, percentage? And then uh, so many things, guys. I, I've, I'm just, I forget. That was like a long time ago. And then I was asking my doctor. I was like, doctor, why are you asking me like this? Like, do you think I'm like that? I mean, you know, I'm saying, no, 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 no. Because I'm just like, want to make sure that you been thinking you know before that anxiety or do you fight with people co-workers or do you upset with whoever and I was like upset of course when I'm just feeling not happy yes and then see the doctor told me that's normal but is it like you want to like ooh, like stepping people or you just want to like do something bad to be like no I never think that so and then she explained to me oh yeah you know, because I was like 22, I'm party so much, drinking, uh, just party. Let's, you know, like, who doesn't drink in this millennia life, right? So, yeah, and I, and then she told me probably you like too much party, and then you have to wake up in the morning, and your body telling you you're tired, but you keep going it, keep doing and doing and doing. So one moment it's just snapping on your on your system, so you become like anxiety because your body telling you like stop, stop doing this. You need a sleep. You need that. You that. So uh, and understand. I understand after she tell me all the story, 
explaining things and then that makes sense yeah so guys if you guys watching this video I don't care it's young uh, kids adult like uh, mature I just want you to be responsibility with your own body you are grown up you're not a five years old anymore because in America 16 years old your parents is already give up on you which is like hey you can make your own decision you can get out from the house this house if you want to be like independence or living your own self be happy party all night every day without your parents yelling at you so in America is freedom guys trust me about about all like this like fun and stuff but you have to responsibility 16 years old guys America USA here free but you still can't buy like maybe cigarette uh, but hey if you if people have like connection kids is not stupid so you guys not stupid you guys know what I'm talking about so just be careful do responsibility and then remember when you're young everything is fun it's the great but when you hit certain number your body can handle again like whatever that you're doing it 10 years ago so that's my uh, experience and my story my little story actually <laughs> if you know me more you will know more but right now just keep it simple I just want to tell you guys this is not new this is everybody going through like uh, being uh, young and then 20s maturing it's changing your mindset guys it's changing your body it's changing everything so I just want to share to you guys just just be responsibility take an action with a lot of like decision like you know before you're doing things like is this okay this is gonna be fine for me is this not gonna hurt me it's not gonna hurt my family it's not gonna my whoever whoever so yeah because we only have a one life one chance oh I, I i i shouldn't say one chance but yeah people can have second chance or third chance but i'm saying just life is only one time if you screw it up you can't go back you can't go back so i want you to be really really careful because it's not just you that it hurts among of all uh people that know you it will more hurt than just you so that's it and then one more time my condolences for Kobe families and then the victims the seven other victims I'm just hoping and wishing and praying for their spirits to be in the right place right now. No pain, no suffers. And then the family, hopefully they can handle it with the strength and hold hands each other to go through the tough time right now for them. So and then life it goes on guys life it goes on that's really tough to say life goes on but it is true life goes on so all right hopefully you guys have a great day sorry it's kind of like mumbling day right now and i'm also just finished cooking i'm putting on the slow cooker right now so i can show it to you guys uh, I was doing a soup. It's like an Indonesian um, milk uh, a bra with a chicken bra, and then I put like um, coconut milk in it so it make it thicker. And then lemongrass, uh, lemon leaf, and then a little bit like a cinnamon stick. So it's gonna be like very creamy soup with the tender and then beef in it, and then also a boiled egg. 
I'm gonna show you later hopefully if I have time uh, to post another one maybe about my food or something else because I do and I'm waiting uh, for a shipment coming from Amazon so probably I will combine them the video so yeah I'm gonna combine them the video the the haul open the hauls and then my uh, my cooking if they're ready so all right thank you guys happy monday everyone's all over the world so thank you so much for watching me and then listening my mumble <laughs> mumble mumbling mumbling on monday so yeah take care guys i'll see you in the next day uh the, the next day i mean the next video <laughs> so all right talk to you soon bye